Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're looking at three really interesting features of the Apache when using laser guided hellfires. We're looking at rapid fire, remote fire and ripple fire. First, my apologies for my voice, I'll just do the best I can. So first, rapid fire as an overview allows us to fire laser hellfires rapid fire, meaning that we don't have to wait for the missile to impact on a target before we move on and start firing at the next target. Then there's remote fire. This allows us to fire a laser guided hellfire without laser designating it ourselves. Instead it will guide on a third party laser from another Apache or a ground JTAC or whatever. And third, ripple fire. This one's really interesting. It allows us to fire hellfires either in rapid mode or in single mode or remote mode on two alternating laser designators. One of them could be me and another one could be another helicopter or a JTAC or both laser designators could be off board. So let's start with rapid fire and with controls. So first, as the CPG, and of course to use these techniques we'll need to be flying as the CPG, we can press Sight Select Switch TADS to select our TADS. To Action or WAS our Hellfire Missiles, Weapons Action WAS Missile. To fire the laser designator, press and hold right hand grip laser range finder designator, trigger second detent. I'm sure you know all this already, but let's just go through it anyway. To slew the tans about manually, we can press right hand grip manual tracker up, down, left and right, or there is an equivalent axis control. And finally, we may need to zoom in and we have our left hand grip TAS field of view switches, narrow, zoom, medium and wide. So viewers, what we've got in front of us for this first run is seven tanks about two miles ahead. Myself and Dark are going to get airborne. And if we look ahead, we can see one, two, three, four, five tanks. Two of them are hidden by that tree there and that tree there. And that's going to come into our role play today. So let's get set up for a rapid fire. First, master arm. I think I'll get rid of the uh, I hads as well by pressing the I key. Next, site select tads. Pip. Next, we need to slew our tads to the target area. Of course, there are various ways of doing that, and today I think we'll show off the helmet mounted sight. So, if we go into our weapon page there, our acquisition source instead of fixed, let's make it gunner helmet sight. Let's slave our tads to our gunner helmet sight. Let's turn our iHads back on. Let's move our helmet sight roughly to where the bad guys are there. And let's press slave again to de-slave the tads. Pip. What that's done, if I turn my iHads off, is slaved the tads to wherever my helmet mounted sight was pointing at when I had it slaved. That's got us in the rough direction. Now we can refine that by first zooming in with the zoom commands that we saw and then using the manual track commands that we saw to get to that guy. In fact, why don't we start on the left? Chugga, 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 chugga. There we go. Right, that is our TADS pointing at the first target. Next, we need to action our missile and let's just make sure we do that right to have our iHads on. Was right. Missile actions. Turn it off again just for making the video. Next, we need to check some options in the weapons page. First, do we have laser guided variant of the missile selected? It's SAL. Yes, we do. Next, mode. We can be in manual or normal. Normal is fine. Trajectory. We're firing direct to our own laser, so we want direct. Let's make sure our missile and our laser designator are set up on the same laser code. We can see the missile here. The primary channel is A. And my laser range finder designator is also set up as code A. So they're matching. Check either my iHads or my TADS and make sure we have direct and normal and no remote there. So all is good and we're pretty much ready to fire. Obviously make sure the helicopter is facing towards the target, which it is. Next, I'm going to try and explain this as best I can. We're going to laze by pushing and holding the button that we showed earlier. We are now lazing. And now I'm going to fire the weapon with we saw that we saw earlier. Pip. It's all away. Now we have to wait eight seconds until it says down here that we can fire the next missile. We're also not going to, there we go, there's another one. Not going to move Tad until it's been hit and then we'll move to the next one. And it's this kind of balancing act we've got to do. 
next we're waiting for it to tell me to fire missile, fire missile again, fire another missile. All the time we're lazing, never stop lazing. Move the next one along. Wait for it to tell me to fire missile again. Still lazing. Fire missile, fire the next missile. Wait for that one to hit. Hit. Move it along. Wait for it to tell me to fire another missile. Fire another missile. Wait for it to hit. Move along. Uh, I'll get that there. And that might be the last one. So I'll just let that missile hit. Boom! And release the laser. So what we did there, viewers, was we lased continuously. And every time the previous missile hit where the laser was lasing, we moved the laser along to the next target so that the next missile that was already in the air hit the next target. It's kind of awkward and a bit fiddly, but once you master it, it's super satisfying to just blast 16 targets like that. Next, viewers, uh, we need to do a remote because we missed a target. Uh, we blew uh, five up, but there's one behind that tree there that needs blowing up, as you can see. Uh, now, I can't see it, but my friend Dark, wherever the heck he is, is up higher and can see it, which shows off remote. Next, we need to make sure that the laser code my missile is looking for matches that that Dark is designating. So, Dark, I'm going to ask you to set your laser designator to code C. Uh, he would do that by going code, and he would select C there. That's a... PRF or a frequency of 4121. One. Okay, let me know when you've done that, Dark. Roger. Got it. Now I've got to change my missile channel to match that so that the missile I fire matches that code. So I'm going to go to channel. Channel 1 is my priority channel. And I'm going to change it from A to C. Pip. And out there, priority channel is now C. And the missile is code C. Uh, and it's R, which means it's ready. Uh, next, I need to change some options here. The only one I need to change is the trajectory. I can no longer fire it direct because, look, I can't see the target. There's a bloody tree in the way. Um, so instead, I have to loft it either low or high. High, usually, if you need to go over high terrain or get extra range, low uh, tends to be the default and seems to work best for us. So I'm going to go for low. I'm just going to get it slightly bit in a better place. Next, we need to check our high action display and make sure that I'm on low, norm, and remote. Remote because it's now looking for a third-party laser. It's not looking necessarily for my laser. Um, let me know when you're lasing, please, Dark. Lasing. Uh, all I've got to do now is fire the missile, and it should hopefully find Dark's laser. Which it has. Boom. One thing to note, viewers, is that the seeker head on the missile is not huge in the angle it can look out. So you do need to fire the missile relatively accurately. Um, so it's important to have your aircraft facing the right way and your TADs in a pretty decent uh, spot. Otherwise, what happens is it just tends to miss and not catch the laser. So, viewers, that just leaves us to combine rapid fire with remote fire. We're going to do ripple fire. This allows me to fire missiles either single or in rapid fire on two alternating lasers. One of those lasers can be me and another one off board or they can both be off board. In this case, they're both off board. I'm going to have Dark and Simba. Hello, boys. Hello, Hello boys. Dark, please set up your designator as code A. Simba, set it up as code B. And I will fire my missiles to cycle through codes A and B. Viewers, um, I'm otherwise all set up and ready to fire. So all I need to do is first set my channels up, priority and alternate as A and B. The missiles will cycle between them. And as it turns out, they are already set up from default. But if they weren't, I will go channel here. Channel 1, select A. Channel 2, select B. Okay. Next, I need to make sure I've got my laser missile here. And I have mode. It needs to be ripple. So it knows to cycle between the two missile channels. Trajectory, I need to fire it remotely because I'm not lazing. So low or high and low because we're relatively close to the targets seems to be better. That's almost me ready to fire. Now I need to check my high action display. Before you fire a missile, always check your high action display is what I've learned. Am I low? Yes. Am I ripple? Yes. Am I remote? Whoops, I'm not remote and I need it to be remote because I'm firing at off board lasers. That's because my laser rangefinder designator code is matching my priority code here so it thinks it's going to look for my laser so all i'm going to do is go to my code change it to something unused e e does not match a and we're now remote 
Uh, right, progress of Thark and Simba. Are you guys ready to laze? Ready. All right, start lazing, please. I'll fire A, B, I'll have a break, then A, B, and so on. Right, here we go, viewers. I'm just going to start firing remotely. Uh, this is going to be interesting. And fire A, so one, two, break. Now, they should theoretically separate A and B channels. Give them a few seconds to find the next target when they've hit, and three, four. Hit on Simba's side. Break. Flash. Yep, keep going, guys. And five, six. You can start seeing how much coordination is required Flash. at this point. Bring it, target. You can see one of the boys is moving left to right, one of the boys right to left. This is like the coolest thing in the world, by the way, viewers, if you haven't ascertained that already. Seven. Flash. Eight. Hit. Keep it going. Let's get it all the way to the last one, guys. Yes, we are so cool. Oh, you had to share the same. You had to share the last. You had to share the last target. <laughs> oh, hit. No, I both hit. Yeah, well oh. done. Well done. That's perfect. I mean, that shows how well it's working. Um, so that's rapid fire, remote fire, and ripple fire used in an example. Uh, well done, guys. There's one important caveat. If you're using off-board lasers, you have to be really, really careful. We couldn't get this to work, and we, were, we thought the game was bugged and we were all getting frustrated. It turned out that one of the helicopters in our previous attempt was quite far off. Simba or someone was out way out there. And the direction that his laser was hitting the tank at meant that when the laser bounced off the tank, it didn't come back towards me or my missile it bounced off in that direction there just like real life the lasers bounce off in the direction that they hit the thing at and my missile wasn't finding it so you've got to make sure that the guy and this is the same as real life is lasing the target at the right angle otherwise nothing works and you'll get frustrated really weird any comments from boys nope nope bye